The Iranians are furious, and they blame the United States. Iran's foreign minister claims he has proof America is responsible for the abduction of Shamram Amiri. The Iranian nuclear scientist was based at a university in Tehran. This past summer, he traveled to the Muslim holy sites of Mecca and Medina in Saudi Arabia. Then Iran says he disappeared. A few months later, the West revealed Iran was building a secret nuclear enrichment facility near the city of Qom. When asked whether the scientist is in U.S. custody, U.S. officials are tight-lipped. Uh, I've got no information on that. An American scientist says his guess: it's more likely Amiri defected. He could make himself very valuable to some Western intelligence agency. Either、uh, the Americans or the British or the French would probably help him.、Uh, Get established in the West might help him get his family out. But in a broadside against Iran, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said Friday, "There's no mystery about the stranglehold Iran's Revolutionary Guard military corps has over the country." The Revolutionary Guard of Iran, which is increasing its control over the country because of the elections, which were a stark example of the abuse of human rights、uh, in action. Is deeply involved in the economy as well as the security issues of Iran. Meanwhile, the U.S. and other countries are moving closer to punishing Iran for not halting its nuclear program. Defense Secretary Robert Gates telling troops in Iraq, "I think that you're going to see、uh, some significant additional sanctions imposed by the international community." The U.S. and its allies say patience is running out. And with an end-of-the-year deadline looming, the UN, the European Union, and others say if Iran continues to not cooperate, they're ready to take necessary action. Jill Doherty, CNN, Washington.